This is Yasser Qadi. He tells us exactly how Islam think about the Christians. When Yasser Qadi he sit with the Christians, he say, "Why you are treating us like this?" As we heard this guy, you know, saying, he was Yasser Qadi was telling him like, you know, Christians they have a misconception about us, etc. Misconception. This is a recording of Yasser Qadi in a private meeting, not to be published. Somebody recorded him. This is the precise definition of shirk, to make a partner along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we realize then that obviously shirk, which is the opposite of tawheed, must by necessity and by definition be the most evil of all evils. As Jews and Christians are mushrikun in our perspective of tawheed, as we have studied we can understand how, and uh, only the Muslims are upon tawheed. And it is also the same reason or the same principle of tawheed which is the first obligation upon every single human being. That he bears witness and he testifies that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is because of the same principle of tawheed that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been commanded to do jihad. Jihad is a means and not a goal in and of itself. It is a means to establish tawheed on the land. أُمِرْتُ أَنْ أُقَاتِلَ النَّاسِ حَتَّى يَشْهَدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ I have been commanded to fight the people until they testify لا إله إلا الله So the whole reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us and sent the prophets and revealed the books and differentiated us based upon this principle and allowed for jihad is the basis and is the principle of Tawheed The life and property of a mushrik holds no value in the state of jihad. Make Notice I said in the state of jihad, not at all times and places. The life and property of a mushrik becomes halal while in a state of jihad. The Prophet ﷺ said, and we quoted the hadith before, I have been commanded to fight the people until they say, La ilaha illallah. And when they say, La ilaha illallah, he went on, when they say La ilaha illallah, their life and property become protected from me. Which means if they don't say La ilaha illallah, their life and property are halal for the Muslims. So, Did you hear it? Did you hear it? This is the same person who those coward, so-called false Christians, they invite them to speak in your churches. He is saying your wife is halal to rape her. Your daughter is halal to rape her. Your property is our property now. We've been commanded to kill you unless you worship Allah. Did you hear it? I've been commanded, Muhammad said, to kill all the people. You see, when he say fight, it's coming from the word qatilu. Qatilu coming from qatala. Qatala means kill. So I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and Muhammad is his filthy prophet. And then and only then their property and their life is protected. So this guy is encouraging the Muslims to kill Christians and kill Jews in the heart of America. But this is not in public. And you will notice that somebody was recording and he is sitting in the same table with Yasser Qadi. How we know? You will hear him hitting the table with his hand. And when he hit the table with his hand, you hear that on the recorder. The recorder is shaking. Must by necessity and by definition be the most evil of all evils. This the... is the precise definition of shirk. To make a partner along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we realize then that obviously shirk, which is the opposite of tawheed, must by necessity and by definition be the most evil of all evils. As Jews and Christians are mushrikun in our perspective of Tawheed. So we are the most evil of evil. The Christians and the Jews, they are the most evil of evil. Let us compete. As we have studied, we can understand how. And uh, only the Muslims are upon Tawheed. Only the Muslims in the world, they are good. Anyone else is a piece of garbage. And it is also the same reason or the same principle of Tawheed, 
which is the first obligation upon every single human being. That he bears witness and he testifies that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is because of the same principle of Tawheed that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has been commanded to do jihad. Jihad is a means and not a goal in and of itself. It see, is, the, see uh, Yasser Qadi in a public meeting, he says the Muslims, they've been forced to defend themselves. That's what he's saying. Here is a private meeting. He says, this is what jihad is exists. Jihad is not to defend ourselves. Jihad is to spread Islam. It is the mean, not the goal. The goal is to convert you to Islam. Jihad is the mean. Did you hear it? This is why the Prophet, he ordered us to do jihad. Not to defend ourselves. But to worship Muhammad as God. Because Muslims, they say that Muhammad is just a prophet, but the fact we know that Muhammad is the God of Islam. Who they are to speak? You see, in the Middle East, you can say the F word to Allah and nobody will take you to jail. If you insult Muhammad, you are dead. So who's God in this religion? So jihad, the purpose of jihad is not for the Muslim to defend themselves as they lie to us when they speak in public. In a private meaning, they tell the truth. Jihad is to spread Islam and to conquer and to take the Christians, women, and Jewish, and Hindus, and Buddhists, and atheists, their women as a slave for sex, and their men, they will be killed, and their children, they will be our servant, and their land will be our land, and their jewelries will be in the necklace of our wives. The Prophet ﷺ said, and we quoted the hadith before, I have been commanded to fight the people until they say, La ilaha illallah. And when they say, La ilaha illallah, he went on, when they say, La ilaha illallah, their life and property become protected from me. Which means if they don't say La ilaha illallah, their life and property are halal for the Muslims. So the Christians do commit shirk. They are, they are kuffar and they are mushrikun. The mushrikun are najas. They are filthy. Najas. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? People, did you hear? The Christians are filthy. You see, when I say to you that the word najis, the Muslim, they translate as impure. It's a lie. The word is mean filthy. Did you hear it? Saying that the Christians are Jew and Jews are filthy. They are, they are kuffar and they are mushrikun. The mushrikun are najis. They are filthy. Najasa. Did you, did you hear the, do you hear the hatred? He did not say just filthy. Listen, listen carefully, how the filthy, how the filthy word is coming. He's not just saying the word filthy. There is something coming from hatred, heart, evil heart. He did not just say filthy, like filthy, filthy. He is speaking from his evil heart. They are, they are kuffar and they are mushrikun. So the Christians do commit shirk. They are, they are kuffar and they are mushrikun. The mushrikun are najas. They are filthy. Najasa. They are filthy. A spiritual filthiness which can only be purified by the purity of tawheed. Allah calls the mushrikun najas, which is a very evil thing. When Allah Himself says the mushrikun are najas, Allah is calling them najas. They are a najasa, a filthy, impure, dirty substance. You are urine. Did you hear it? The Christians and the Jews are urine. And I'm very thankful for the Muslim who recorded this, this video, because obviously nobody can attend this such a meeting except Muslims. It's a privately made, this is why there's no video. It's meant to be very private. And here, the filthy Yasir Qadi is saying what he believes, truly. You are urine. You are, you are feces, like feces of dogs. So the Christians do commit shirk. They are, they are kuffar and they are mushrikun. The mushrikun are najas. They are filthy. Najasa. They are filthy. A spiritual filthiness which can only be purified by the purity of tawheed. Allah calls the mushrikun najas, which is a very evil thing. When Allah Himself says the mushrikun are najas, Allah is calling them najas. They are a najasa, a filthy, impure, dirty substance. Dirty substance, did you see it? The Muslim, they knew that we are saying the truth. 
And actually, uh, we, we, what, what more we can do? We show you the reference and we showed you Yasser Qadi himself saying that you are feces. The same person in the video is the same person saying Christians are filthy. The Prophet ordered to kill them. Jihad is the mean. Islam is the goal. Their property, their money is lawful for us. Actually, Yasser Qadi should be arrested. Should be arrested for teaching jihad in USA, saying to his followers that the property of a Christian neighbor next to you is your lawful. His wife, it's okay to rape her. His daughter, you can kidnap her. In the top of that, he is saying that the Christians and non-Muslims are filthy, dirty like urine. This mosque should, mosque should shut down. Actually, all the mosques should be shut down because all of them say the same thing. But there is, you know, now we have a tape. There is a program in the BBC once published. It's called Dispatch. I don't know how many of you saw it. Maybe you can find it because the Muslims, they flag it and they took it down. Dispatch simply is a journalist who go undercover as claiming to be Muslims, go inside the mosque and record secretly the speeches and the sermon of Muslims. All of it is teaching to kill the Christians. All of it is teaching to kill non-Muslims. All of it is teaching hatred against non-Muslims. So there is something we say in TV for public, and there is something we say in private, and this is a private conversation. My friends, we don't hate anyone and we will not hate Muslims because if we hate Muslims, we fell into the trap of Muhammad. We became satanic like Muhammad. But in the same time, we are not fooled. Jesus says, be peaceful like a dove. But in the same, be wise. Same time, you have to be wise. Peaceful does not mean fool. Peaceful does not mean stupid. Peaceful does not mean be coward. Somebody is asking me, do you hate Islam? My friend, we are not people of hypocrisy. We say Islam is of the devil. And we hate the devil. Did I answer you? When you have a filthy book, coming up from filthy God, he says that he will spread hatred between us. Why you want me to love Islam, Babdul? Hey, Muslim Christian Prince, do you hate Islam? Why you don't ask your God, the filthy God, satanic God, what kind of God he spread hatred? We are here to spread love. We say love the Muslims, hate the devil, and your prophet is the devil. So when this guy, he says, we've been ordered to do jihad against the Christian and the Jews, He's talking about killing the Christians and the Jews. This is not a joke. I hope we did a good today, exposing the liars. And my friend, the Bible is true. The Bible is true. Be aware of false teachers. Be aware. False teachers, false prophets, who come to you in a sheep clothing, but they are very vicious, aggressive, filthy wolves. Pray for Muslims, we love them, we don't hate them. Don't fail into the trap of hatred like Muhammad because he wants us to kill each other. He is the devil. He is the blood monster, the blood sucker. He is the mosquito. She cannot live without blood. That is Muhammad. That is Muhammad. Smash the mosquito, Muhammad. Save the Muslims from the bloodshed. This is what we are here for. We don't want to Hatred, we are fighting hatred. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud. And we prove it every day.